Hey, 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 peace, peace, family. Come on in. Take, take a ride with me. Yeah, let's see, Fool Lester, checking in and also checking out. So what are we checking out today, family? So this short, brief conversation here is in regards to a subject or title known as free will. Free will. So, you know, most of us claim to have free will, and I agree, we do have free will. There's a big misunderstanding in regards to what free will actually is. I want to clear that up because free will is not about freedom of choice. No, 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 no. It's not about freedom of choice, you see. Free will is coming from a whole nother direction and we most definitely have free will. Free will comes from, from our mouth, from the words that we speak. You see, we are able to actually will things into existence. Words are actually spells. Let that set in for a second. You see, every word that we speak actually has an influence on our reality. That's the free will. So we're able to will things into existence according to the words that we speak. And remember this family, look at the word, word, S, words, spelled backwards. Words are actually swords. Words are swords. And if we aren't careful, we will cut ourselves into so many little pieces, into small fragments. And that's exactly what most people are doing on a reoccurring basis. Because people have no idea of what they're actually saying when they're using these languages. You see, the English, English language, it is such a horrible language. I say horrible with an accent because it is just that. The language has come from all over the world. It's been put together and it really makes no sense. It causes a lot of confusion. And I guess it does make sense because they actually want to cause confusion. They want you to go the wrong way and people are doing just that. The good news is a lot of us are waking up and we're starting to analyze the words that we're using much more strategically. We're starting to pay attention. Yes, we are. So family, remember this. Be mindful of the words that we speak. Be very, very mindful whenever you say things such as I am. Because whenever you say I am, you're speaking directly to your consciousness. Your subconscious is always paying attention. That is a spiritual tone that you're speaking when you say I am and it's very powerful. And whenever you say I am, your spirit will do everything it can to make sure that you are just that because it's working in our favor. Take for example, this is just an example. So let's say that you say, I am so tired of having these horrible relationships. So spirit's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna send you more horrible relationships because that's what you just willed into your existence. Instead of saying you're so tired of having horrible relationships, we have to will in love and say, my relationships moving further are powerful, beautiful relationships. You see the difference in that? So now you have wheeled in something that serves you and you've gotten rid of something that no longer does serve you. So be mindful, family. And do me a favor, leave a comment in the section below and let's carry this out further. Let's discuss, let's talk. Let's improve our existence here as humans and also tune in our spiritual knowledge. Talk to you soon, family. Once again, it's Seafood Lester.
Thank you for taking a ride with me. I'm checking in and I'm also checking out from Tai Chi 360. This one was about the free will. Peace. You're I'm out.